Hi, I'm Irene Perillo. I am one of the pulmonologists here that works at the University of Rochester Medical Center. Right now is really the season where a lot of people are sort of cold, a little runny nose, a little cough, you know, a little fever. So some people think about the flu or do they just have the simple runny nose? And it always becomes a question of when when do you start, you know, worrying about it? When do you start calling your doctor? When you have a cold and if you start developing a cough, you can kind of divide um, two different sets of people. In general, you have to kind of say, okay, am I one that's healthy, no other medical problem, or are you somebody that has a medical problem? Do you have a pre-existing lung condition such as asthma? Or you, do you have some type of um, heart problem? Those are things uh, you need to kind of look at because sometimes the threshold for calling the doctors might be different. In general, I would say, you know, if you have a cold and you develop a cough, uh, the things that you want to kind of, you know, start worrying about or start thinking about calling your doctor asking for help is, one, if you develop a fever that lasts for more than, you know, 24, 48 hours, and then if it's associated with a cough that's productive of like a greenish phlegm, uh, those are things you want to consider and say, okay, this is something perhaps I should start calling my doctor. Now, if you cough up blood, that's definitely a big trigger, and that's when you really should call somebody, regardless of whether you're healthy or if you have a pre-existing condition. A cough in general, I think you can think of it as sort of a protective mechanism for your, for your lungs. The reason you cough is because there's something that's irritating your windpipe, your throat, and basically what your body is telling you is that you have to clear, you have to clear it out. So you then, you know, you use your respiratory muscle to induce a cough so that you can expel that irritant. When somebody has, has a cold or let's say they have a bronchitis and they have an infection, generally what ends up happening is you have some inflammation in your um, windpipe or in your airways and that causes phlegm production. And that phlegm production, again, kind of causes that irritation, and then your body wants to um, get rid of it, so they induce a cough. Mm -hmm. When it turns, if, when it starts having a discoloration, just as like green or some blood, that's when you have to start thinking about whether you have an infection. So a lot of the colds, you, you know, it's caused by virus. You don't really necessarily need an antibiotic. But sometimes after a viral infection, you can get a super infection that's caused by a bacteria. And that's in general when sometimes you, your, your cough or the cold symptom lasts a little bit longer. So again, sort of the trigger becomes, you know, if one, if you develop a fever that lasts for more than 24, 48 hours, if you have some shortness of breath with the cough, if your phlegm, is, you know, turns color. Those are times to start thinking about, you know, calling your primary care doctor or calling uh, your pulmonologist if, if you're followed by a pulmonologist.